Hello, in this video, I'm going to be going over my woods loot run. You easily make two to three million rubles an hour doing this. Very minimal PMC contact. This run can be done at any level, whether you're just starting the wipe or even the later wipe. On screen now, I've leveled all the loot areas that I go to, as well as some of the extracts, because depending on how much loot you have, you can get out a bit earlier. With my spawn, the first stuff that I'm going to is right by one of the extracts. This is North UN Roadblock. You do spawn at the other side of the map around outskirts. This can be a great way to get extract. I've never really had any PvP combat around here, so it's usually a very safe place to go. All you do over here is go to where the gate is. There's a loot box as well as a hidden stash right by the container. After this, you head up the map towards the old sawmill. Over here, there's quite a few tech crates, some weapon boxes and toolboxes, as well as a spawn point for the sledgehammer, which early wipe is really good for your hideout. So after the first smaller building, there is this larger warehouse at the back. This is where you'll get the majority of your loot. In here, there's weapon boxes, tech crates, food crates, as well as some loose attachment spawns and the sledgehammer spawn. Make sure you go up both sides and check underneath the stairs as well for all the loot. After the big warehouse, all you need to do is head up the hill towards the road. You just need to go to where this truck is, where this debris is, and in one of the concrete cylinders, you'll find a hidden stash. After this, you get to loot spot number four. All you do is head down the road towards the edge of the map so you get to these logs. Line up with one of these logs and start heading further into the trees. And right next to this small tree, we find a hidden stash. Moving on from spot number four, you move on to number five. This is in Scav Town. Now this is optional because this can be an area which is watched over for shooter born in heaven kills, can be crawling with scavs. Sometimes it is better to just move on from this and move on to spot number six, which is a hidden stash near the road. If you do decide to loot Scav Town, I'd probably take the car extract because it can usually fill your bag up. Just make sure you always bring money on to woods because this can be a great way to get out of raid early. To get to spot number six, head down from the car along the beach. And on your left hand side you'll come across this big bush right next to a tree if you want a more in-depth loot guide to woods on all 36 stashes please let me know in the comments down below moving on to stash number seven you need to go down the road until you get to the hills on either side and right on top of the hill on the left hand side you'll come across this hidden stash then you need to head down to the abandoned village just opposite where the sunken church is you'll come across this abandoned building head right to the back and behind the bush you'll find a hidden stash number nine you go outside the abandoned house and you go towards the campsite just to the left of the campsite are some rocks on top of a hill head up that hill on the left hand side and you'll come across another hidden stash this is where i've had the most pvp on this run from engagements on top of scav bunker as well as scavs in abandoned village moving on to loot spot number 10 it's a hidden stash near the bridge overlook there can be scavs on top of bridge overlook as well so just be careful of what that. you need to do you need to go down the side towards this little triangle area you need to go to where these two roads meet and cross over the road to this middle island bit from there locate the rocks on the right hand side near the road head just behind them and there's a bush and that's where the hidden stash is moving on to number 11 this is near the radio tower at the top of the map from the radio tower you want to head to the right hand side through the first tree line and you'll come across a row of big rocks you go to the left hand side of these rocks just head around the back of them once you've gone on the left hand side of the rocks you'll see these two trees that are on screen now if you start heading towards that pair you'll come into a more open area there'll be a bush on your left your right and straight ahead of you Start heading to the one straight in front of you, next to the big tree and the small one. And just behind the small tree on the right hand side, you'll find the hidden stash. You need to start making your way to the USEC camp, go over the little ditch. In line with the radio tower, you'll find these big rocks. Behind the little bush and the big tree, you'll find the hidden stash. Moving on to loot number 13. This is a USEC camp. Early wipe, this can be quite contested due to people trying to do the prap or convoy quest. But in here, there is a whole load of loot to get. There's weapons crates, med crates, med spawns, loose attachment spawns. That's just in the first section. Moving on to the second part of USEC lots of loose food spawns ammo spawns weapon attachments loot crates be sure to check inside the tent back of the truck because there's a weapon crate as well as on the tables there's lots of loose food spawns and ammo spawns and just below the big rock where the sleeping bag is there's a rare loot spawn you get a lot of gold chains chainlets and horses behind here now moving on to number 14 this is the most complicated loot spot to find it is really out of the way now i don't think many people know about it you need to go down to the road just past the dumpsters to this open road area. You need to head through the first line of trees and then through the second line of trees where these white flowers are. Then you'll come across this section with much larger grass. So what you need to do, you need to head through those up to the landmines. When doing this, it's important to keep an eye on new set camps just in case there are PMCs around there. Once you get to the landmine area, that's when you'll know where the stash is. You'll see a couple of landmine signs. You start going towards them a little bit then turn around, you'll see a couple of bushes, and it's the second one in from the left, right by a small tree. Moving on to 15 and 16 then, 
You need to head back towards the road and start heading down following the power lines. And right by this first pylon, right by one of the feet of it, you'll find this hidden stash. Moving on from this, you need to follow the road down towards where number 16 is. Eventually, you'll get to this little hill on the right hand side. You just need to head up there, head towards the back of it, and in one of the bushes will be the stash. When leaving this stash area, make sure you go back the way you came. Because if you go down the left hand side, there are landmines there, which I found out the hard way. And from here, you need to head in towards the sawmill a little bit and then head to your right just to avoid the landmines. Then you come across this wall, head along that until you get to this big pile of rocks. And this is where ZB14 is. If you have the key, you can obviously extract here, which will be very good. But there's also a lot of good loose loot in here. There's a good chance to find water filters. There's a duffel bag, a couple of crates, and there's a spawn for the 60 round mag through the gate towards the extract. Now ZB14 isn't open, just head towards extract to outskirts. Just be careful of the scav house on your left hand side as you go in. If you have spawned around ZB14 outskirts area, don't worry because you you can just do this loot run in reverse. You start by looting ZB14 and you start with 1615 and work your way around up to the top of the map and down the right hand side. Works the exact same, still the same amount of PvP and you'll get loads and loads of loot doing it. Please leave a like rating and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below what other stash runs you want me to do next.